Well, hi, welcome back to Glitter 50. I'm so excited. So one of my favorite brands, I, um, companies, whatever, um, came out with a new palette and I couldn't resist. I've seen a couple of reviews and I just had to have it. Obviously this is not sponsored. They have no idea who I am. I mean, they have responded to my, um, Instagram things that I have said, but they really don't know who I am. But anyway, um, this is so cute. This is from Nomad Cosmetics and they had been sneak peeking this on Instagram and they were showing different pictures of things and, um, when it finally came out, what the name of the palette was, I was so excited because as a kid, and this is going to, um, show you my age, which obviously 51, but I remember watching the Brady Bunch when I was younger and I wanted to do the little family trips that they went on. And, um, I just thought that was fun. So this is the Nomad, oh, what is it, um, On the Road Again, National Parks, um, palette, and this is the box that it comes in, it's so cute, and, oh, they actually do know me, thanks so much for another order, Chandra, enjoy, this is the little card that they sent and they actually do keep up with things. That's awesome. So of course I had to order extra things because I wanted to get the free shipping and I have a giveaway coming up and I'm not sure which one I'm going to put in the, um, giveaway, but we're going to open them up. I bought, uh, four, highlighters from their collection and we're going to open these up and I'm going to show you what they look like and then um, I'll decide which one I'm keeping and which ones I'll be putting in the giveaway if I can get these open. Handy dandy tweezers. That'll help. I saw the opinionated horsewoman do that and I was like, that's a smart idea. This is nomad and around the world. This, ooh, I'm not going to swatch them because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not. And this one's kind of a purple highlighter and I have purple highlighters and they don't necessarily come off purple on your face. They're actually really pretty. I like them. But of course, I like a lot of highlight and I like to have um, bright and shiny and glittery. Hello, glitter. Um, this is Nomad and Stockholm. Ooh, that one's pretty. This one's kind of um, a beige with a hint of uh, a very slight hint of gold. So that one's pretty too. And like I said, I'm not sure which ones I'm keeping. So I'm just going to set them aside. There's that one and that one. And this one's probably going to be a longer video because I have these two unboxed, but and you're all like, just get to the palette. But I want to show this. This is from Nomad and Around the World as well. Ooh, this one's pretty. This one looks like a blush. This is called Something Sunrise, but look at the color of that. It kind of matches my, my shirt today. I'm bright and colorful. I kind of like that one. I'm going to set that one aside. And then this is Memorial Beach. 
um, this is Nomad and Sydney Bathers. So obviously it's like Australia because it has the, what is that place called in Australia? I don't remember. Ooh, this one feels like it's, oh, the little mirror came unglued. <clears throat> Which is no big deal. We can fix that. Ooh, this one's pretty too. It's it's more of a light peach. I like that one. So I think I'm going to keep the last two. Oof. Mm. This one looks more like a blush to me with a little bit of a shimmer to it so I think I'm gonna put that one in the giveaway and I'll put the purple one in the giveaway and I'll keep the Stockholm and the Sydney one now we're gonna get to the palette now I'm super excited um, like I said I've always wanted to do the trips like the Brady Bunch would do. They would go to the Grand Canyon. I've never been to the Grand Canyon. It's on my bucket list. Oof. So they didn't put a plastic thing in there. They put a piece of tissue in there. Um, oh my goodness gracious. Look at these colors. Aren't they beautiful? The whole middle row is shimmers. And then this yellow one, ooh, I'm trying to not blind you. This yellow one is a shimmer. That one's a shimmer and that one's a shimmer. But oh my goodness, they are beautiful colors. Um, let me read some of the colors because it's kind of hard. Mount Denali, it's kind of a gunmetal gray, you see that color, but it's oof, so pretty. And then there's um, Big Ben, and it's kind of a coppery olive green look at that color see that that's big ben and then something rainforest i can't read the writing on this one um hoa rainforest see this is this green one right here so I've done these three look at that green that is so pretty alrighty I'm gonna go prime my eyes and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna paint our eyes okay so now that my eyes are primed I put on the Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer. Now I'm going to get, this is the E2 from Bling Brushes. And I'm gonna go into Giant Redwoods. I'm just gonna take that on my brush. Now, like I said, I wanna go and visit the Grand Canyon. I've been to the Old Faithful. My We went to Yellowstone when my kids were little. Well, younger, not really little. Um, we went on a road trip um, and we went to Yellowstone National Park 
and walked around where Old Faithful is. And um, it was like a dream come true for me. I absolutely loved it because that was like my childhood fantasy was to go on a family road trip and visit different places. <clears throat> now we went also to um, a place called the Lewis and Clark Caverns. Now you have to drive up this mountain, sort of. It's taller than a hill, but it doesn't look like Mount Rainier. So there's that. But so you drive up and you park and then you have to hike up part of the mountain um, to get to this cave and you walk in mm, kind of slunched over into this cave and all the so there's water that drips down and it forms um, stalactites I think that's what they called them um, which is the mineral deposits from the water from inside the cave they um, would come down and um, form these little pillars and you walked through all these little different caverns and um, once you're deep 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 inside the mountain and it was hot outside but inside the cavern it was really cool and um, you really didn't feel like you were inside a cave sort of um, until they sh they said everybody turn off your flashlights and um, then the stalactites glowed from the lights being shine inside there it was really really interesting um, but it was one of my favorite vacations with the kids um, just because it was something that I always dreamt of doing when I was a kid I wanted to go with anybody and we did do things I've been to um, Washington DC with my brother and my grandmother and we went to um, the Lincoln Memorial we went to the Washington Monument um, that is a very pretty color <laughs> sorry <laughs> squirrel um, so we did do that um, I grew up in Vermont and when I was in the eighth grade they uh, did this thing where you would um, go to the Freedom Trail which is um, in Boston and it would take you around to the different um, sites in Boston where the um, Paul Revere hung the lantern to signify that the British were coming that was there um, there was um, graveyards and churches and cobblestone streets and it was just it was a lot of fun to go there now I'm using Old Faithful and I'm blending that over the top of this I love that color I want to use like all of the colors I know I can't um, but I want to use all of them that's so pretty but I want something summery because it is um, yesterday was officially the first day of summer and it was also Father's Day and um, so <clears throat> my husband um we've been married for 12 years and my kids are older they're um 27 29 31 
33, <clears throat> so they're older. Obviously, he is not their biological father, but um, they have come to love him. And so they called and wished him a happy Father's Day, which was very nice and he really appreciated it. He really loves the kids and has wanted to have kids all of his life. So having them and them being grown is just really good. So that was fun. I lost some of the color when I blended that yellow. So I'm just going back over the top. With that. I think I'm actually going to bring it in. More. Because I think I want to deepen it up on the outside. So I'm just going to bring it not quite all the way on my lid. I'm going to bring it two thirds over on my lid. So that way I can blend things over the top. I have an idea. Most people do when they're doing their makeup, they have an idea and I've done this several times where I look at it and I go, oh, I can't stand that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And I've thought about washing it off. And then I think, no, no, just trust the process. And those are the looks that I get the most compliments on. They're like, oh, I really love your eyeshadow today. And I'm thinking, if you only knew, <laughs> if you only knew how many times I wanted to just start over again and I was thinking it wasn't looking good and that's what I think in my head but I obviously say thank you and yeah so but I really like the way these have blended together I know it looks weird kind of looks like a sunset eye again but we're going to do I'm going to take my color switch brush off my E2. Don't ask me what that other brush was. I haven't a clue. And so I'm going to go into Half Dome, which is this brown over here. And I'm going to deepen up this outer corner This one too but they all blend so well together like there's no there's no skipping there's no patchiness it just blends and then we're gonna brush it off again and go back into giant redwood and blend I really want to use some of the green too, but that's going to have to be a different day. See how well that blended together? It just looks... It looks so good. On camera, it doesn't look as good as it does in person. I, it's weird how that works. Hmm. So... Do I use, I'm going to use the narrows because the narrows right here, I'm not sure if they, if it's the same as I know, but we have the narrows, which is in the Pacific Northwest. It's a bridge. 
So I'm just going to take my pinky. I'll have to look up if there's another narrows, but look. Oh. oh. Okay, here we go. Kind of nervous. Look at that color. Wow. Wow. And there's no fallout. There's no fallout to this whatsoever. It's such a pretty color. You see that? Okay, hold on. Let's let's do the other one. I lost the imprint of what that was, but so pretty. Such a pretty color. Oh, there goes my cat. She wants to come in and visit. And she will scratch on the door unless I go and let her in, but do you see that color? Oh, you cannot see it as much as you can in person. It's so pretty. It's like a um, orange with a gold. And there's almost like a little bit of a hint of green in there too. It's such a pretty color. I don't know if you can even really see it. Yes, I know. I have not gone into the inner corner. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to wipe off the glitter. And then we're going to go into Genoa Valley, which is this yellow right there. And it's got like a peachy yellow. So it should go right in there really, really well and blend and no fallout. None, no fallout whatsoever. And I'm going in pretty hard. And I didn't spray my finger or anything. It's so pretty. But it's got like a peachy yellow diamond beautifulness. So you know what I'll probably do? I'll probably do green on the bottom. Because <laughs> I really want to use the greens. And I've been liking doing different colors on the top and on the bottom. It just makes my eyes pop better. Sometimes if I use the same colors, it makes my eyes, to me, um, look like I was punched in the eye or it just, it doesn't look good. Those colors blend so well together. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but it'll be good. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I have my base on. I did um, a mix of the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Um, the CC Cream is in light 210N and this one is in light 7W. Don't ask. They were just the colors that seemed to work with my skin tone. I also have on the Gigi Gorgeous, um, the Six Sculpt bronzing, Bronzer Duo in Turnt and Extra, and I have um, the Jeffree Star Concealer, and this is in C7, and then I have the Elf Duo, but I just used the blush part of it, and... This is the watermelon 
and I put a little bit of the ColourPop translucent setting powder on. So that's what my base is today. All of that will be listed below, but I just thought I'd tell you what I have on. Now we're going to go in to the under eyes and I'm going to be using some of the greens right here. I'm so excited. So I'm going to get, this is the E6 and this is in the rose gold bling brushes. I mean, look at those bling bling. Yeah, sorry. I get excited. I'm going to go into the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'm going to tap it off and then I'm just going to go right underneath. It's just like an angled brush and I like to have a very precise line. It's just what looks better on me. I can't do too much on the bottom line, bottom lashes, because one, my eyes tend to water, and two, being that I'm older, I have fine lines that show up more than others. So I try not to go like too heavy on the bottom. But oh my goodness, that color is so pretty. I just have a lip balm on right now. I don't have lipstick on. Um, so I'm going to use my color switch and then I'm going to go into the co color Everglades, which is this one right here, this mossy lime green. And I'm going to go to the front of that and bring it down and blend it a little bit on the bottom part to that's such a pretty color a little bit of kick up but it's so pretty and they blend so well together. Look how pretty that is. Okay, one more time with the color switch. And then I'm going to go into Ho Hoa Rainforest, which is this shimmery green ho 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 sorry have i told you that i like glitter <laughs> that i like shimmer mm -hmm. and that's just gonna go over the top and give it a nice shimmery glitter Oh, that's so pretty. It just goes so well over the top of that color. That would be beautiful. Just those three colors on the top lid too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just because I want to be a little extra, because that's just who I am, I'm going to take, this is the ColourPop E4. I don't remember what collection it is, but I'm going to take that um, Narrows, the Narrows, which I think is from the Pacific Northwest. I really think that that's where they got that from but I'm going to take that just because I want to see if it shows up any better on camera, but in person, it's beautiful. I'm going to spray it just with my Smashbox um, photo focus 
setting oh that is so pretty it's so coppery it looks just like copper yeah so you can see it just this with the getting the shimmer wet is what I see without getting it wet if that makes sense so I'm going to take some more and then I'm going to do the other eye and then we're going to go into the yellow, the Genoa Valley. Look at how that color just pops. It's so pretty. Pack it on there. It's so coppery and just so pretty. All right, now I'm just going to brush that off in my color switch. I just cleaned this the other day, so it's nice and fresh. We're going to go back into that yellow. See if we can get it to pop a little bit more too. Spray it down. And then blend it. Can you see that better? Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I just love these colors. Do it again. With the other eye. And then we're going to go into highlight because I have two over here that are just dying to get on my face okay maybe i'm just really excited about putting them on my face how's that see how that blends together and it just oh so pretty i could put all of them on my face and i would be perfectly happy with that so this one does not have a mirror because it fell out. So which, which one do I use? I'm going to use this one. <laughs> I like using color highlights. I have not used a Nomad highlight, so I don't know how they look. That's beautiful. It's not really, it's not as shimmery of a highlight as I'm used to, as I, but it's there and it looks really good. Like, can you see that? Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I know. Chandra, you're going a little above and beyond. Well, you know. I've only got one life, so. So pretty. So we're going to use the other one on my inner corner highlight. Let's take this. Just 
blend that in. Look how pretty that is. It's just, it's kind of subtle, but it's there too, if that makes sense. It's so, and of course I'm very extra, so I put, excuse me, a lot on. Alrighty, I'm going to go and do my lashes, my brows, my lips, and I'll be back. All right, so this is my final look. So what I did was um, the Maybelline Tattoo Studio, and this is in the shade, good question. I don't know what shade it's in. Um, but I did that on my brows. I did the ColourPop Cream to Gel liner in Extra Frosting in my waterline. I did the House Laboratories, um, oh, what, Punk as my eyeliner. I used the Maybelline Sky High. For my lashes and I love dark lips on me especially that's just how I like it so I did the O oh behave um, lip stick lippy stick from Colourpop because I can and I like dark lips um, I know people say it's a fall color but anyway um, I just wanted to say how much I absolutely love this palette. I can see myself grabbing this all the time. The glitters are so pretty. Like it just, it made such a pretty look. So, um, I hope you like it. Nomad, please keep coming out with more. Um, I am a big fan of your palettes. So, Remember, everybody, who's better than you? Nobody. Please like and subscribe and share. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.